Hello everybody, this is Christine and I'm coming to you live from the Cards by Christine studio and I am located in Fond du Lac, Wisconsin. Happy hump day everybody. It is definitely the middle of the week. <laughs> I can feel it. <laughs> so I think it's Wednesday, right? <laughs> I'm pretty sure it is. So I'm going to just work on loading all of your comments so I can interact with you and watch all this awesome correspondence that you girls love to have with me and each other. So how was your Wednesday, everybody? Um, it was a good, it was cold here. Oh my goodness. I feel like spring is not sprunging. <laughs> spring has not sprung, something like that. Um, I feel like it just wants to be cold yet. So hi, Kelly. Thanks for joining, being very prompt with me. <laughs> I love it. Hi, Karen. Thank you so much. Uh, did you have a good hump day, Karen? Hey, Jay, how are you doing? I'm just trying to pull up on my phone some of your comments so that I can play along with you. So turning my volume off would be a good thing too. I noticed that a couple days I didn't do that and I got some text messages. Oh my gosh, Diane's here too already and Sarah. Hey, Sarah, you're catching me live again. Yay, Judy Immel's in the house. So good story for Judy and me is that we shared a guy today. <laughs> so hi, Shar. And just a reminder to girls, if you can share this video, that would be awesome. I'd really appreciate it. So Judy says, guess who's here? So I, that kind of sounded a little bit bad, I think, that we shared a guy today. So, so big progress on my project. So today was the day that the boiler's getting put into the basement. Hi, Jennifer. She's planning away. I know. I'm excited too. So um, sh um, my HVAC guy, Sean, was over at my house today and there's still one of his guys is still here working on it. But by the end of the day, the boiler is going to be installed and that is removing my hot water heater because this boiler is going to be enough to heat the water supply for the house and the in-floor heat in the she shed, the garage and the mudroom. Super exciting. So Karen said that it was a great day. She got to see the new catalog and you made two cards and they're being put in the mail tomorrow. That's awesome. Hi, Kathy. You made it. You're live with me. So excited to have you here with me. So um, thanks for sharing, Jay. So yes, exciting news. Um, the progress is still continuing to be made. And I have even more exciting news. I was a minute late. I had posted that I'd be on here at 8.30 and it was 8.31, I think. I got a call from my Amish friend, Monroe, and he is going to be building all my cabinets for me for in the she shed. Hi, Dawn. Hi, Peggy. Thanks for joining in. Thanks for sharing too. So that was like the big stressful thing for me, figuring out who was building the garage and who's doing the cabinets. And Monroe wanted to do both the garage and the cabinets. And I really wanted my uh, classmate from like since fifth grade on to do the, um, the rough framing and building the garage. So Diane, you kept asking me, who do you recommend for building? And Mark Marion is my guy. And I've known him since I was probably in kindergarten or first grade. And he is out on his own now doing, building everything. That, and he a handyman, like building garages, everything. So he's building my, once the concrete slab is poured, he's building everything up. And then Monroe is going to be building all of the cabinets for me. And oh my God, he is fabulous. So my parents had their kitchen redone 10 years ago and they are exquisite. The cabinets are awesome. So the Amish do do fantastic work. Like the attention to detail is awesome. And he's gonna be using ash and I'm gonna have it lightly stained. Hey, Bonnie. And so I'm gonna have all these light kind of cabinets all around and he's gonna do the trim for the doors and the windows too. So, oh, I'm like excited. <laughs> Can you tell? <laughs> so fun, fun, fun. So he's gonna start building them in June. And my plan for this was that Mark would build the garage and she shed and mud room while the cabinets are being built so that once we're done with the building that the cabinets can go in. Hi, Heather. Thanks for joining. Hey, Kathy. I am glad all you girls are here. So I do have a card that we're going to make together tonight and I kept it really simple. It's a really fun layout. Um, it's actually for a swap card that I have to put in the mail tomorrow. So I thought we'd make that card together. And I also have some uh, some announcements and some exciting stuff that I just want to go over. So, But always the She Shed is fun to update on you. And I can't remember who it was, but somebody did 
ask for me to post pictures of the progress. So I think what I'll do is I'll do like a group of pictures at one time. So, and I'll post them on the Cards by Christine page and I'll show you so far where the garage was and then what it looks like now. And we'll go from there. And hopefully in 30 days, I'll have that slab poured. So, okay. So some announcements. Um, I'm super, super excited that tomorrow night is the Mountain Air online class. And I had 14 people signed up as of yesterday and I made two extra kits and two more people signed up today. So hi, Virginia. I heard you broke out and you're home now. That's awesome, yay. So Mountain Air is tomorrow night and I have 16 people that are signed up for it. So we'll be putting those four cards together. Tomorrow night at six o'clock, we'll be there live sharp. So that's tomorrow night. And I also have a lot of my team members on the Facebook Live watching right now. So I wanna announce to you that we do have our team meeting on Sunday. And I hemmed and hawed about canceling it and waiting to do it in person. But you know what? With this safer at home thing, we're not gonna be safer stamping together until May 26th. And the next team meeting after that is in June. So I made the decision that we're gonna meet virtually on Sunday at 4.30. So I know there's like 10 or 15 of you already on this Facebook Live and I thought I'll tell you that. So be watching for an email. I did just update the Facebook event for it. So for those of you who aren't on my team and don't, um, that aren't on anybody's team and you're looking to, to become a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I'd love to have you on my team. We have a, a fabulous team. If you're on my team, give me some hearts and love because we are an amazing community of stampers and we love supporting each other and being there for each other. So team meeting is on Sunday at 4.30. Okay, and I know there are a lot of demonstrators that are watching right now. Were you excited with the new catalog? We were able to see it at two o'clock p.m. this afternoon. I'll be honest with you, I haven't looked at it yet. <laughs> I was so busy with work today. And then just rolling right into the evening and planning other stuff that I haven't even looked at the catalog, but it is amazing, I have heard. So yay, I just saw all the hearts come through, yay. So, so the catalog is available to demonstrators on the demonstrator website. All you have to do is click on happening now and then the catalogs link and you'll be able to see it. And with that though, the, re the last chance products are available for everybody. There is a list and it's in Excel and PDF and you can see all the things that are going to be retiring. And girls, just know that the stuff is going to be while supplies last. So if there's something like, oh my gosh, a kit, like the tin box, um, my cousin Kelly wants it. It's like a blue box and it's got a whole bunch of stuff in it. It's like like less than $8. It's like $7 or something like that. So Angela and Judy, yep, everybody's saying the catalog's amazing. Oh, I don't know. How could I have not looked? I haven't had a moment. I'm afraid to look at it because once I sit down to look at it, it will take me three hours to get through it. And I haven't had three hours to sit to look at it. So, oh yes, Kathy says the new catalog's awesome. So, okay. So the new catalog's out there, the last chance lists are out there. So make sure you see those. Um, if you need me to email them to you, just let me know. I can definitely email them to you if you're not seeing that from anybody else. Okay, I also uh, want to go through uh, my upcoming classes with you. I'm gonna, when I flip the phone down after we're done making the card, I'm gonna go through some cards with you. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. I went through my whole entire schedule and revised it in the beginning of April. And I went with that thinking that we were gonna be able to be in person stamping on Saturday. And I was very, very optimistic, like I normally am, right? That the glass is always half full. So when we were told that the Safer at Home goes through May 26, I haven't had the energy, oh my gosh, to like sit down and like redo the schedule again. So I thought what I might do, as long as I have so many of you wonderful girls on here, is just go through my calendar with you and show you different things and you can jot things down on your calendar just so you know what to watch for. Dawn said that she spent two hours looking and so she was so happy she was off today. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. Um, yeah, Diane said the last chance list takes a while to get through as well. And oh my gosh, Karen said that her and Katie discussed it for two and a half hours. Yeah, so that's just it. It's like you need a little investment of time to start with that catalog and I haven't done that yet. So, okay, so uh, we're gonna make a card and while we're making the card, I wanna show you the products that I use for it. So I participate in a bundle swap group and Jay, who's watching right now, she's part of the swap with me and we each have to make two different cards using the same bundle. 
and then we send them out to different people. This time there were 13 people in the group with myself. And so I've made all the rest of them, but I saved, I saved this one card to make with you. And um, I wanna show you it. I've got everything stamped already and there's honestly not that much to stamp, but I wanna show you how fun it is to make just an easy, simple design and how versatile it can be and just go from there. So, and I'm gonna show you the, the bundle we use and then also, I'm gonna show you a bunch of the swap cards that I already got in from this just to help inspire you even more. Okay, so let me flip down. All right, so just a reminder to girls, um, my host code is always here in case you need anything. I do appreciate all orders. I love you for them. They help me stay going and help me to keep doing these free classes with you. So look at this. I made this out a long time ago. This is how I work my calendar of what I wanna do. And so I'm gonna start looking through the catalog and start jotting down what I wanna do when. So yay. Okay, so I wanted to show you that. The other thing I wanted to show you too that I'm doing is I'm gonna do a year in review with you, but I'm also gonna go through the catalogs with you in a little bit. And I'm going to highlight everything that is retiring. So like in this case, we're gonna flip through here page by page and I'm gonna point out different things to you that are gonna be retiring and carrying over. So I've got my magnificent highlighter here. So just so you know, I'm gonna put that on the calendar for you in a little bit. <laughs> so, okay, so here we go. This is what I used for the card, for my swap card. It is the bundle that we were told to use for the month of, what are we in? We're in April. For April is so sentimental. And this is a bundle that comes with the Stitch So Sweetly dies. Okay, girls, you know me and you know by now that I love anything stitched. So this was an absolute must have on my list. So it has, these kind of coordinate with each other very nicely. And then these are great for layering too. So these are like stitched scalloped rectangles. And then these are just cool little labels. So this is the bundle that we had to use. Oh, guess what? I'm gonna announce the winners too for these couple cards that we made. Huh? So, all right. So I don't have a sample for you to look at because I have them all in envelopes already. But I'm gonna show you this and then you're gonna get to see it as we finish it. Okay, so what I have here is a piece of early espresso and it's eight and a half by five and a half. And you can see here, I have no score line. I'm gonna put this right here because it's glaring. So. It has no score line. So you girls, I want you to know how special you are when you come to my classes. I purposely score every card base for you so that you don't have to worry about matching up your corners so good. So for me, I never score my stuff. So when I have to fold it, I have to just be a little bit more careful when I line up my corners at the top and the bottom. And once I've got my corners lined up, then I kind of go to the middle and I go down and then I go up and then I'll grab my bone folder and I will burnish the edges. So again, we just get an early espresso base for here. Jennifer said she loves this bundle. Yes, I do too. <laughs> All right, so then we have here a piece of pool party. And I know that this is five by three and three quarters. And then I pulled in a piece of the designer series paper. Who wants to guess what this is from? <laughs> I bet Judy Immel knows for sure. <laughs> this is from the Timeless Tropical. And on the back side is my one of my favorite papers from this set. This is the pool party fan looking background. And I'm going to use though the flowers in this case. And it's really hard with this paper to determine what's the top and the bottom, but I'm thinking I'm going with these bigger flowers that they're pointing up. So that's gonna go at the top. And the measurement for that is, so if this is five, I think that this is three inches going this way. And then this is three and nine sixteenths going this way. Then I'm gonna pull in a piece of, hi Karen, so saffron. And this is embossed with the Coastal Weave embossing folder. Okay, girls, you'll know this if you've already looked at the catalog, but is this carrying over? I hope so. I will be sad and I will cry a little tear if it's not. Um, I love this Coastal Weave embossing folder and it goes with the Timeless Tropical Designer Series paper and that whole suite of products. So this one down here, hi Mary. So this one is the three and nine sixteens and it measures like two inches, I believe, or like two and an eighth inch here. And so all we're gonna do for these two pieces is flip them over and grab some liquid glue and you're just gonna glue around the edges with this. Oh yeah, Judy loves this 
suite of products. Um, she has made some very, very beautiful cards with this whole suite of products. And she made like multiples of them and then just varied them just ever so slightly. Okay, so I'm just gluing this on here. Hi, Carol, we're putting together a quick card. I just wanted to show you how easy it is to put a quick card together. So now we've got that layer. Then I have a piece of vellum. This is like a frosty piece of paper. It's translucent and I believe it's carrying over. Okay, Judy, that's awesome. So this is cut out from one of these dies here, the biggest one here. And then what I've done is I've stamped the saying, sending healing hugs. Oh, John says it's not carrying over. Oh my gosh, now we've got a little back and forth here, girls. <laughs> Shower, thanks for sharing a couple more times. So that is the true question here. Is that carrying over or not? So this, I can't thank you enough and the sending healing hugs and this calls for confetti and the yummy licious all fit very nicely in this die cut piece right here. While this one also fits this one, this one, and that one very nicely. So, so what I've done though is I've just, I've die cut the vellum and I'm actually gonna glue that down first. So, oh, Karen confirmed it. The coastal weave is not carrying over. Sad face. I won't shed a tear right now in front of you girls, but I'll have one later. <laughs> I'll probably have a beer to commiserate with me. <laughs> so I'm very, very, very super excited. I have a special blueberry vodka that I absolutely love, and it comes from Nantucket, Massachusetts, and the shipment just arrived yesterday. So I'm super happy. I pour like one shot of it over the top of my blue moon and it's amazing. So hi, Sandy. Okay, so we've got that glued down. Now what I'm gonna do is just grab my tear and tape and I'm gonna pull off a little bit of this and I'm just going to be centering it right over the seam here. And I think I, think I used a little bit too much so I'm just gonna rip that back a little bit and throw it on my light here. Okay, Dawn's got the catalog open and she's looking at the embossing folders. Okay, so we put a little bit of tear tape. Now, I pull in here, this is awesome ribbon. It's the braided burlap trim. Girls, I don't know about you, but I feel like this is so universal. You can use it on like any very natural looking card. It just adds a little bit of neutral color to it. Um, it really complements well with the braided lemon trim. Uh, I don't know, it's part of this whole suite of products. And again, I don't know, sometimes they carry ribbon over and sometimes they don't. They don't, I haven't memorized yet <laughs> in the catalog. So all I'm doing is I adhered that to the tear and tape and I'm just gonna snip it right at the end here. And in that case, none of this was wasted whatsoever, which is awesome. And what I'm gonna do here now is just put some dimensionals on the back of this. So I don't know if you can hear the, hammer drill going in the background, but <laughs> that's why I waited a little bit later tonight to do a live with you, so that would be done. But they have to, so I have stone veneer siding on my house, and they have to drill like a hole in the wall this big through cement, and yeah, it takes a little bit to do that, like a two inch hole. So I'm just pulling off my dimensionals here, and then we're gonna pop this on the top of here just like so, and I'm just centering it around the edges. Okay, so did you see what I did there? I put dimensionals uh, along the top and along the bottom, but not right through the middle. So that helped me create that little channel so that the burlap trim here goes right through the middle and it doesn't make it more puffy there, okay? All right, so far so good, right? Now flip it over and we're gonna put a little bit more liquid glue along the back here. Flip it over, check your card, make sure you have it opening the right way so we don't make a trick card. That's what we call those. They are okay, you don't ever throw it away, throw out a trick card because somebody will appreciate it. All right, now that you've got this done, grab your ends here and pull the little bits of the ribbon end here apart and it just gives it this awesome cool look, like it frays the ends. If you've got a little extra little guys hanging here, let's get them off. Now, last but not least, let's see here. I have the Champagne Rhinestones, and they are actually part of the Parisian Beauty Suite, but they match great on here. So don't be afraid to use these, um, these rhinestones on other projects that like, 
it's this is like a champagne color, but it really coordinates well with this whole color pattern going on. So I got two down here, and I'm gonna put a third one up there. Hi, Soledad. How are you doing, monkeys? <laughs> I'm glad that you could join. All right, girls. That's it. What do you think of it? Do you like it? It's super simple. So if you're ever having mental creativity block, think of this this color pattern, or not this color pattern, but think of this layout. I mean, you basically have a card base. You have one outline. Put some DSP at the top. Put a matching color down here. Hi, naughty Nancy. And just add a little bit of bling on it and a little ribbon and put a nice little sentiment on the inside. That's what's awesome about like these dies is that they make great uh, labels for your sentiment. So super cool, right? Super easy. So I'm actually for the monthly class, if you remember from last night, we are going to be making a very similar card. Lots of love, I love it. We're gonna be making a very similar card for the monthly class in May. So it's using the Magnolia. But just to show you how simple it is, just to change up the color pattern. So super cool, right? Okay, so I can't give away this card tonight, but um, that's because it's going into a swap. <laughs> so, um, but I do have in a little bit, we'll, we'll, we'll I'll announce the winners of these two cards, but I wanted to show you some more lovely cards using this bundle of product. Okay, so and I'm going to give credit where credit is due. So I try to save the envelope here. So these are from a friend named Sandy Carlson, and these are her cards. So everything that you're going to see on these cards, it's going to feature these framelits and also these stamps, okay? So she used the Can't Thank You Enough. She used the, that champagne rhinestone with that champagne ribbon matching from the Parisian uh, suite of products with the Parisian folder and the designer series paper. She pulled in that champagne foil. Here she used both of them, and in this case, she wrapped that around the edge of it. Isn't this beautiful? A simple, simple, nice layout. Cool, isn't it? Then, because we each do two, this is her second card, and this just opens like a regular card, and here she used the other die cut. She pulled in the starburst punch or sunburst punch. I always confuse that. A little banner on her ends here, and here she also used that Costa Weave embossing folder and that designer series paper. So pretty card here, right? All right, so that's one swap I got. Now another one here came from Jay. Jay's in the house, I believe she's still watching. These are her gorgeous cards. Jay's were actually the first ones to actually come in. So Jay made this one using the Magnolia Blooms designer series paper, wow. I'm just looking at this J now. <laughs> she used two of the big dies over here and she used three, she used one, two, three, four, five dies out of the set. She was doing some die cutting. Holy Moses, J. This is awesome. And look at this. It's a fun fold. So you fold, open it like that and it's got like a little flip over panel. She pulled in this petal pink ribbon. Um, that's from like Peru, not perennial essence. It's another flower set, but that's in the annual catalog. And this is Jay's second card. It's um, a cute confetti birthday card. Here she used the two dies from that and then the birthday bonanza designer series paper. And I have to guess here that this is the white crinkle seam binding ribbon, Jay, right? And you colored it. If I am correct, you can confirm, <laughs> but I think that's what you did. So that white seam binding ribbon is awesome. You can take your blends and color it. So those are Jay's cards. Give her some love, girls. Hearts, hearts, hearts. Okay, next here we have Denise Johnson's cards. She pulled out the memorable Mosaic Designer Series paper. She used here, when she did the Sending Healing Hugs here, she colored these, I'm believing she colored. Oh, pressed petals, thanks, Jennifer. Jennifer's saying that this ribbon comes from pressed petals. Good call, I couldn't think of it. Um, what she did is she used, I think her markers here to um, color the words three different colors. And this is that mint ribbon that we used last week for that special like book looking card. Okay, and then she's got one more here. Very soft and delicate. Are you girls seeing these okay? I, I, I can always go closer up. Um, She's got here the polka dotted tulle ribbon and she used the wishing you much happiness today and always more like a wedding-ish kind of card. Here's the, the petal punch here and then she used the scripty folder. 
She actually, it's really hard to see it with my lighting, but she's got the scripty folder all along the back here. And then she did the scripty folder on the petal pink. So beautiful cards, right? Okay. We're still going. I've got a few more. Are you enjoying these? <laughs> I feel so bad. Like I have all these beautiful swap guard cards and you girls can't even come over and see them in person. So this is why I'm doing this. Okay. This one, these are from, I believe, Barb. Let's look here. Barb Mulliken. Some of you, the girls that are on Kelly's team know Barb. She's one of the trio. Here she used the new embossing folder from Ornate Garden. And then she also used that champagne ribbon. Your friendship is a blessing. It truly is, girls. I'm so happy to have all of you in my life. Here are two of the, the dies. And she used the Parisian uh, paper as well. Here we've got another birthday themed card. She she actually used the high C's here. Can you see the back? It looks a little bit wavy. She used the high C's embossing folder and it's awesome here. She used the this calls for confetti and then she stamped all the little confettis all the way around the edge and she used the balloon here. And I believe what she did is she took a chalk marker and made it look like the balloons have that light reflecting on them. Very, very pretty, okay. And we've got another one coming. These are gorgeous. I love these. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited <clears throat> to show you these. Not that I'm not excited to show you all of them, but these are like puff up cards. This is Amy Combs. I was like, wow, like this is a heavy card and it's got a cool fold to it as well. And it's decorated <laughs> like there's layers upon layers, like Jay's cards, lots of layers. And here she's got this silver and white ribbon and she's colored it. It's like a purple color. It looks white on the camera, but it's actually purple posy. And then she tied in here with it. She tied in the, the tool and she's got a uh, ivory doily here. She's got the label. She's got a label here. This label I believe is from the poppy, one of the poppy bundles. She's got this is from the poppy bundle and what she did is it's a circle and she cut it in half and split it and then she's got the best dress dsp here with sending healing hugs this thing is thick like if you look at this it's like a good quarter inch <laughs> it's a big card and then she's got some big daddy diamonds on the side here and she's got two there oh my god this is a beautiful card holy purple right okay and you girls know i love my purple so i was like yeah this card's all me <laughs> i love it okay this one is cool too look at this oh jennifer gives me some purple hearts i love it so this one is real red she pulled in that little baby daisy punch girls did you see if the baby daisy punch is staying or going what about the big one <laughs> i'm curious these are our little hairy spiders that are the center of our uh, flowers here. You don't want to see that on the floor. It might scare you, but that's the little, we used that last week, I think. Um, she's got a tag here. That tag is actually from the birthday bonanza dies. And she's got, oh, black and white cut out with this die, that one. And then she's got the starburst punch. She's got this two inch punch. And then she's got this calls for confetti with the scallop. Wow. Like, boom, and some tool ribbon here. I love this. Girls, I don't think to do this very often, but you know what she did here? She doubled up her ribbon, and she's got two ribbons together, and it just creates this awesome texture thing going on. I love it. She used the poppy paper back here to get another layer. Like, okay, so this card has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten layers high, just right here. Okay, Karen says both daisy punches are carrying over. Boom, I love it. Okay, so, okay, wow. Okay, now you know why I was like, whoa, on those cards. Okay, let's keep going. These are very, very pretty as well, and these are from a Ruth Bingle, and this is a fun fold. It's like, I call this an accordion card because it, like, does that accordion thing. Hi, Tanya. So, Parisian, uh, Parisian suite of products. You've got the DSP or designer series paper here. And look at this, it opens up like that. And then it says, I can't thank you enough. She's got some DSP in here and she uses the tufted embossing folder. Oh my gosh, Shar just said that that tool ribbon is staying. That's like, it was in the catalog the year before last. So that's three catalogs in a row, yay. All right. Hi, Melissa. Thanks for joining. I say you have a Facebook post or a message to me and I didn't look at it quite yet. I'll look at it as soon as we're done here. So she used the For You. It's a teeny tiny little For You in here. It's right here. 
and it fits very, very nicely in this little die right there. So that's cool. So she used that. So you're seeing here that like by doing these bundle swaps, I love doing this because it gives us lots of different samples to show you different cards. Look at the elegance in this one. It's basic gray with smoky slate, the Parisian folder again. She's got the white ribbon, just like, okay, here you might be able to see the difference. I'm gonna put these next to each other. Can you see in here? Now you can see she colored it purple posy. Oh my God, I love it. Okay, sorry, I'll stop going back to that card. <laughs> so here she's got the white with the silver and then she embossed the silver embossing powder on top of the smoky slate and used those two. Those two go really nice together for matting. A couple of diamonds, a few diamonds on here. And this one is a very pretty, pretty, I love the monochrome, what, mono, whatever, chromatic color, however you say that word. So, all right, that one was Ruth's. Now I have one more girl. I still am waiting for some because there were 12 people besides me that did the swap. And I think that was maybe about eight of them. And so this one's from Jean Franz. And this one uses, the, the, oh my God, it's purple again. Okay, sending Helix hugs. So we've got our Blackberry Bliss going on here. And oh my gosh, look at this. She used the white tulle ribbon as well, the painted poppies paper. And here she has these two that really map nicely together. And when you open it up, so what she's done is she's actually folded this piece of paper back right here, okay? And then she put a little strip of designer series paper on here to make it look like it's not a different kind of a fold. So there's that one. All right. And last but not least for my show and tell time, this is also using that Parisian designer series paper using the stitched scalloped rectangles using those champagne rhinestones. Does anybody know if those champagne rhinestones are carrying over? Oh my goodness, I would love it if they are. Okay, and then this uses petal pink and then the pool party. So yeah, how do you like that? Did you like that, girls? Oh my gosh, those swap cards were amazing. Jay, what did you think of them? Because Jay got all of these cards as well. So wow, okay, so I'm gonna have to tell you girls, that was just one swap and not all of it. After we had the whole safer at home thing, I swapped out all the boards. Like I've got a board back here. I've got two um, over on the other side of the room here and they're all ready for you to see them. And now that we're safer at home till May 26th and the new catalog starts June 3rd, nobody's gonna see these cards in person. So what I'm gonna do is, so we've got, we're gonna do a year in review party with popcorn and our favorite beverage. And we're also gonna do, um, a swap review night and I'm going to pull out the cards from here so that we can just go through them and I can tell you what is like what stuff is so that you know you know just so you know what it is in case you want to get it before any of it becomes discontinued so okay all right I'm going to flip back down so entertain me girls for just a little bit because I know there's a bunch of you watching this is my um, handy dandy uh bible it's my field guide two-year planner I'm a paper person. <laughs> Would you ever guess that? I'm a stamper. I'm a paper person. And I want to tell you girls what I've got planned for us for the next few weeks while we're safer at home. And I know this is hard to read, but tonight, tomorrow night, we're going to be doing the mountain air class. And then on the 30th, we're going to say paper pumpkin live. Okay. So next for the next bunch of Thursdays, we're going to be live every night of every Thursday night at six. So we've got mountain air tomorrow night. And then we've got the paper pumpkin live. We've got the team meeting on Sunday for those of you that just joined. Okay, on the 5th of May, I am going to do that year in review party. So that's where you're gonna wanna get your popcorn or your snack or your beverage. And we're gonna go through all the cards that we made um, since the catalog started in June. We're gonna do the year in review party on the 5th. Then on the 7th, we're gonna do the in color class. And I already had somebody sign up for this today, yay. So, oh, I lost a pearl. Ooh. Here I found a pearl. That little, that little guy just fell off of there. Okay, so the in color class is gonna be on May 7th and you can sign up for this class like somebody just did today. They gave me an order and then they get the card kits for free. Otherwise, this is $18 for five cards and it's all of the in colors that are gonna be retiring. So we've got all five of these cards and that's what we're gonna do live on the, the night of the 7th. Okay, then on the 11th, which is a Monday night, this is my normal club night. 
This is when the, the, I call them my clubbers, they come and we do that, but they make the monthly cards. And so what we're gonna do is the monthly class live that night, and that's the 11th. And I've got two of the cards designed for that. The third card is gonna be uh, the best catch bundle. Then, girls, I know a bunch of you had, oh, Karen just said the champagne rhinestones are saying, yay. So I know Judy Immel's watching right now, and Judy Immel is teaching a technique class, and it was supposed to be on the 2nd and the 13th, and she had, she had a whole bunch of people signed up. Both those technique classes are being moved over into June. Now, Melissa, you're watching. The Poppy Bundle class is going to be the 14th of May. And so that one, I have to design the four cards yet. And that will be an online class. And you can buy the kits for that as well. Girls, I'm doing it. Online bingo is going to be May 21st. And it's going to be, I don't know if it's going to be four or five cards. It's going to be something like that. And we're going to play five games of bingo. And I'm doing it. I just watched a training on how to do it tonight. And we're going for it. So like Peggy's on here, Angie's on here. There's a bunch of you girls that are my bingo girls. We're going to do an online bingo and it's going to be fabulous. Okay. And then that takes us to May 26th, which is safer stamping together. That's our safer stamping together date. And girls, I have the fun fold set for here. And fun folds is set for the 27th and the 30th and the 1st of June. And let's hope with all of our fingers crossed and our toes crossed that we can be together, safer stamping with each other <laughs> starting then. And then I have a paper pumpkin class. So I'm looking to do a paper pumpkin live um, like the last Thursday of the month. So girls, that takes us then. This is the exciting news. The celebration celebrations are being held. I'm not canceling them. I'm just rescheduling to the first week of June. And then that goes into the catalog launch. So girls, let's hope that by the end of May, we can be safer stamping together, right? Because we are missing stamping with each other. So Peggy is in for bingo. Yay. I'm so excited. I have like two to three people that are definitely in for bingo. So I am willing to try new things. <laughs> We're going to make this happen. So, so girls, that's like a little bit of what I've got planned for May and June. And I was just talking with somebody earlier that they were looking at um, my calendar online and they're like, you still have classes on the calendar for next week. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I just didn't have the heart to sit down and redo my schedule again. So I am going to be updating my paper copy of the schedule and I will be emailing it out and I'll be putting it in the files section of our VIP page and I'll get it updated. But I just wanted to let you know that every Thursday night for sure, there's going to be a class and then on the other nights during the week, I'll be keeping doing things like this. Like we're going to make a card and we're going to make a 3D project or we're going to do the year in review. And so we're going to add things so that until we're back stamping together, I'll see, keep doing something every day. That is my plan. So what else do we have to go over with girls? I think that I probably hit my time limit with you for tonight. <laughs> it's getting to be late. <laughs> so, um, oh, we have to do the drawing. Well, I did the drawing already. We have to announce the winners. Okay, so let me flip down here. So on two nights ago, I'm gonna move that because the glare on there bothers me when I see it. So two nights ago, we made the Pretty Peacock card and drum roll please, girls. Okay, and I had, oh my goodness, it was Pat Butts. Her name was drawn for this. And so Pat, you get this beautiful Peacock card. So I don't know when I'm gonna be seeing you next. So I will definitely pop this in the mail to you and it'll be on your way. So you, Char wants my energy. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, <laughs> I have a lot. I don't know where it comes from and I don't know how I have it now, but I usually get a second wind at like this time of the night. So, okay, congratulations to Pat. So Peggy, you can let Pat know she won that. All right, drum roll please, girls. Brrr. Okay, hi Ruth, thanks for joining. This was the Z Fold card that we made last night and winner is okay i don't know who this is exactly but her name is cindy benward there was a middle name on her um facebook page thing her like the name it says cindy hanfbauer benward so cindy if you're watching 
and I need your address is basically what needs to happen because otherwise I don't know where to send this to. So Cindy, if you could private message me your address, I'll pop this in the mail for you tomorrow or as soon as I get your address. And if anybody knows her, um, you could tag her too and let her know that she won. So super, super exciting. Okay, girls and boys, <laughs> I don't know how much else I have, but tomorrow night I will be on at six o'clock and we will be making those four mountain air cards and girls it's going to take a little bit it's not going to be a half hour it's four cards and there's embossing there's aqua painting there's shimmer paint oh my um there's going to be a lot to go i'm going to try to have all the die cutting ahead of, done ahead of time so we don't have to do that but i'm going to teach you if you haven't embossed in a while this will be a good refresher um if you haven't aqua painted for a while, this will be a good refresher. I wish that Gina was here with me because she is the true artist. Uh, me, not so much. <laughs> and so she's really fabulous at aqua painting and coloring in general. So, um, but I will do my best. So, oh, you'll miss all these lives come June. And um, you're not going to miss all of them though, because my plan after all the crazy Corona is done is every Thursday night, at least three times, I should say, throughout the month, throughout the summer, we're going to be doing online classes or I'm going to be doing online classes. So it's like, I'm going to get into a more of a routine like Kelly Atchison, my team leader. She would always be live on Sundays. So my plan is that Thursdays are my night for you to do a Facebook live. And so we're going to keep going. It won't be every day, but it will be every Thursday that I possibly can. So, all right, Cindy is on Kelly's team. Oh, she is. Okay. I didn't know that. Good to know, Jay. Perfect. So if you are friends with her on Facebook, you could let her know to send me her address or I could always ask Kelly for it. So, all right, girls and boys, um, I'm off to um, work on something. I don't know what, <laughs> but I'll figure it out. I hope you girls have a good night and boys have a good night. Happy stamping, peace, love, happiness, sunshine to you, and we will see you tomorrow night. Bye.